nation. Glory to God. Was the earthly at all? You think I'm going to pass that up for some trivial foolishness here? Hallelujah. Not at all. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. You know, I love that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love this. God knows I love. Hallelujah. I love the way God worked this plan out. When you think of it, ain't nothing worth going to hell for. Nothing. When he changed our vile body like unto his glorious body, all your natural emotions and feelings and thoughts, gone. If I go to hell and she make the first resurrection, she won't shed a tear. Because that's the promise God made. That's a promise. That's right. That God made. Right. He'll wipe your tears away. That's a promise. Yeah, that's right. She won't feel nothing. 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 It'll be equal as if she never had a husband in her lifetime. Mm. Because in her spiritual life, she haven't had one. Oh, yeah. Who takes the plus? Who takes the place of the husband now? Jesus did. That's right. <laughs> yeah. The church take the place. Listen, the church is called bride, wife. Jesus is the husband man. So when Jesus comes for the church and presents to himself his glorious church, that's the last and only Universal wedding Amen. where Jesus Himself Amen. will marry a whole people, yes. right. won't be one person, no. He will marry an entire people yes. a people that's ready, yes. got oil all in their lamps that live right, talk right, walk right, love right. Got their lives straight. Glory to God and ready for his arrival. We're not playing around with this. Not at all. Glory to God. Hear this. In a moment. Chapter and verse again. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and at verse 52. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, the trump shall sound, and the dead shall be raised, the dead incorruptible, shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. It shall be. What's the change going to be, Moretti? For this corruptible, this corruptible, must put on must incorruption. Put on Incorruptible. And this mortal. This mortal. This must, is what you have now. Mortal. This mortal. Must put on immortality. Must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall when have put on incorruption. Have put on incorruptible. This mortal this shall have mortal put on immortality. Put on immortality. Then shall then be brought to pass the same. It be brought to pass the same. That is written. That is written. Death is death swallowed up. It's swallowed up. In victory. Death swallowed up. Have no more preeminence. That's right. Nowhere. 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 Death have no more rule. Nowhere. Then shall the say come to pass that death is swallowed up. Is swallowed up in victory. In victory. Oh death. Oh death. Where is thy sting? What can you hurt anybody? Death can't hurt nobody no more. Where is thy sting? Death. Where's your power? Grave. Grave, where is thy where victory? Is your victory? Who will be able to be held to the grave then? Nobody. That's right. Because the grave gonna give up the dead that was in it. Where is thy victory? 
So when a book says he shall wipe your tears away, that happens the moment he changed you from mortal to immortality and being immortal, you will not have the emotions, the thoughts, the feelings or the desires of the mortal. Your life that you're waiting on, when God changed you, you won't have the feelings of the life that you have now. Oh man, you can look at somebody burning in hell throughout eternity mm. and it won't phase you. Won't phase you. Won't even bother you. You don't be like, I wish I could rescue. He said they're going to wipe your tears away. For your tears to be gone, you cannot have no type of emotional attach. And That's to right. do that, I got to take all the emotions of the old world and we'll pass it away. Mm. When, he pa when heaven and earth pass away, listen, all the emotions of the earth go with it. Yes. Huh? When heaven and earth pass away, all the emotions, all the feelings, all the thoughts, all the dreams, all the hopes, all the nightmares go right away with it. And, and God shall wipe away. Do you hear this? In the book of Revelation chapter 21 and at verse 4. Revelation chapter 21 and verse 4. And God shall wipe away all God tears. God shall wipe away. All oh, tears God. from their eyes. You can cry all you want now. Yeah. I'd rather for God to wipe away my tears than people. That's it. If God wipe away my tears then, I know they'll never come back. That's right. People wipe away your tears now, you will have to cry over something else later. Are you listening? Do you hear this? And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death. There shall be no more death. Neither sorrow. I told you. Neither sorrow. If I'm in hell burning and my wife is saved, she won't have no sorrow for me. Right. None. Neither she won't sorrow. She will feel an itch. Nor crying. What? Nor crying. You won't be standing there with the Lord. Oh, my baby burning. No. Nope. Nor crying. Be as if she never had a husband at all. Mm. You see, nobody can fix this like the Lord no. can. No. He know what he was doing. That's it. You know, if he kept you with your emotions, some of these crazy folk would try to come down from the kingdom. And go in hell to rescue family members. That's true. That's true. Certainly they would. Yeah. Amen. That's true. Do you hear this? Give chapter and verse again. This is good. In the book of Revelation, chapter 21, and at verse 4. <coughs> and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Who's going to do it? God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. All tears. From their eyes. From their eyes. And there shall be no more death. No more dying. Neither sorrow. No, you won't have nothing to be sorry about. Nor crying. You won't have nothing to cry over. Neither shall there be any more pain. Anything that causes you pain mentally, physically, emotionally, psychologically, gone. Yes. Because those earthly elements do not dwell in the body of immortality. For the former things are passed away. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Do you hear? Do you hear? For the former things. The former, the former. For, hallelujah. Former things. This is the present that will become former. That's it's it. talking about this right here. What's going on now? The former the things. The former things are passed away. Are gone. That's right. And what? And he that sat upon the throne said. He that sat upon the throne said. Behold, I make all things new. All of it. That's wonderful. All of it. All, all things. All of it. Won't be no more baptizing nobody. Won't be nobody tired for the Holy Ghost. Won't be nobody being prayed over and laid hands on. Won't be no casting out devils. Won't be no sick. Won't be no cancer. Won't be no lame. No blind. That's right. All things. New. 
when he said all things, behold, new heavens. That's it. New earth. Wherein dwell of righteousness. Do you get it? He that sat upon the throne, he behold. He that sat upon the throne. Behold, I make all things look, new. Behold, I make everything new. And he said unto me, write. And he said unto me, write. For these words are true. These words. Look, what I'm telling you is true. And faithful. And it, <laughs> Hallelujah to God. It'll definitely be like I said. Faithful. If God tell you his words are true and faithful, true. you got to be a fool not to believe it. That's it. Go back to the book of Matthew. Everybody all right? Amen. Back in the book of Matthew, chapter 25 and at verse 10. All right. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. Yeah. And they that were ready went in with him to the marriage. You see, when the Lord come, people are going to go off to do other things, but it won't stop his arrival. That's it. They're going to go off and do other things wherein they should have been preparing themselves for the coming of the Lord. Yes. Fasting more, praying more. Yes. You see, when you fast and pray, it builds up your spiritual immune system and you're not easily knocked over by so much foolishness. Yes, so I want to say that's easy for you to say. No, that's easy for the Bible to say. Yeah, keep you in perfect peace, said he. Amen. Whose mind is stayed on it. Wonderful. That's why some things that phase some people and don't phase another person, and they wonder why I don't phase them. They're just not like that. They, that's why my, my approach towards everything is from a biblical perspective. Some folks say, well, the Bible, the Bible, uh, the earth is not all spirit. That's right. But you name one thing in here that this don't deal with. He's reading about natural and spirit. That's right. The whole earth is natural, but within the earth is spirit. That's right. But I use the book of scripture to be able to use proper judgment on both because we deal with both. That's why my whole approach towards life is from a biblical perspective. Somebody asks me something, I go to the Bible and tell them what God said. Some tell me, I, I don't want, I know the Bible's true, but I want your opinion. What's wrong with what God said? Telling you what God said, is, I'm not preaching. That's not being too spiritual. If I'm giving you God's thoughts about that particular thing, God's thoughts is better than mine. When a person can't trust the way God thinks, man, you's a fool. That's it. Amen. 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 Brother asked me, Pastor Jennings, I'm having such and such a problem with my wife. Such and such and such, I'm listening. Should I stay with her or should I leave her? I take them right to the Bible. This is what the Bible says. This is what God says.